Hello! Welcome to The Science Kid. I am your host, Quinn Friedman, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about tsunamis. Like other waves, tsunamis have crests and troughs. Tsunamis are known as transverse waves. If you haven't checked out my video on transverse waves, click on the I in the corner right now. However, the difference between tsunamis and other waves is that tsunamis are carried by energy. Most waves are carried by the wind, which only affects the surface of the wave. That is why normal waves can't reach extreme heights. However, tsunamis on the other hand are carried by huge amounts of energy from either earthquakes, underwater landslides, or volcanoes. This energy causes waves to form that can travel over 500 miles an hour. These waves can be massive. The biggest tsunami ever recorded was in 1958 in Latuya Bay, Alaska, where an earthquake caused a giant amount of rocks, about 30 million cubic meters of rock, to plunge into the water and cause a wave that was 1,720 feet tall. Luckily, since this wave wasn't really near any people, it only sank one fisherman boat, killing two people. However, this wouldn't be the same for another tsunami back in 2004. The day after Christmas, a 9.1 magnitude earthquake erupted in the Indian Ocean and caused a tsunami that killed almost 250,000 people. This wave hit many bustling cities in Sumatra and Thailand that wiped out almost 100,000 people instantly once it hit the shore. There have been thousands of tsunamis in human history, and many of them have been seriously destructive. We have to find and take more precautions to protect ourselves from these deadly waves. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and of course, subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, science can always be fun.